Brothers and sisters, Brother John, Watchman for that great day. Yesterday, actually the 26th, today is now Saturday the 28th, but the 26th of September, there was the sacrifice um, done on the Mount of Olives. Um, I would like to bring to your attention and confirm what um, our brother Stephen Ben Danoon and Yana have been sharing with us and just in my own understanding of my own words uh, the way I can present it to you um, is by this one little clip that I believe brother um, Leland Jones put up but it was on brother Barry Scarborough's channel that I got this video but um, if this information is not enough to tell you the moments and times that we're in right now and the preparation that's being made for a possible time of Rosh Hashanah um, I don't know what will alright the, there is something that's going on having to do with the, uh, the this coming Rosh Hashanah which of course would start on Sunday night um, there's been other watchmen that have pointed to uh, Sister Gigi and uh, Brother uh, Stephen are now pointing to a time of the Rosh Hashanah. I'm looking at Rosh Hashanah, but also this whole month now that we're going to enter into. You know, we're, we're in a flux, a constantly moving, moving forward. There's a process, all right? So what I'd like to do is let you listen to about a minute, almost two minutes of of uh, this video in the beginning and I'd like to uh, share uh, what Rabbi Weiss which is the head of the Sanhedrin is is, is saying because it's it's hard to understand and I had to stop it more than a few times to get what he's saying but let me just let me just bring it to let's see we'll start it at you know I'm not going to tell you everything because it's hard to understand the man but we can understand pretty much what he's saying so I'll start it at like oh, I don't know 20 20 seconds here all right and we'll go to about a minute and 50 oh minute 55 to 58 something in that area so I'm gonna let you watch and I'll just edit I'll just be verbally editing it I'll pause the video from the background so we're moving along. I'm just trying to get you guys up on the video here. And here we go. Okay, we're here on the Mount of Olives. You can see our sign, 70 Nations. We're uh, gathering here. And we told him that the slogan is only for the God of Israel and uh, for the sake of him, the creator of the world. And he said, okay. He say that he understand and he agree. Now this ceremony Notice never had been done before. Notice all the graves in the background here. This there are somewhere around 150,000 of these graves around the Mount of Olives and to the east side of the Temple Mount. Um, it's hard to understand Rabbi Weiss because he is he's a, a Jewish man, I believe from. I'm not sure. I, th I think it's. I think he's uh, originally from Germany, but uh, at any rate, he's a Jewish man, and he's got broken English, so it's hard to understand him. But you can, if you if you go back and forth and listen very carefully to what he says, you can understand. And it's very clear towards the area that I'm getting to that I'd like to sh uh, share with you with this video. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit. If I understand what he's saying at a point, I'll share with you that. Here is the representatives of the 17 nations, the pioneers. And the entire humanity is here. And if the, it will the be representatives of 70 nations uh, are here and entire this represents entire humanity. It may be finished only by praying, and maybe it can finish by sacrifice. We now bought a new knife. 
So they, there's going to be a sacrifice. They bought a new knife. A taxi will send it here. That a taxi will send it here. The knife. The knife is here now. Right? Doesn't get quite. So, can't hear him good. Getting to the point. The so, the will be, will why don't you listen carefully? What's coming? By the here we go. The sacrifice will be by the Gentiles, and we will say Amen. And we should be. All right. So here we go. Listen very carefully to what he says right here. It's 142, 141, 142. Let me bring it to 141. And just listen carefully, and I'll, I'll share with what he says. We will bless you. We will bless you. For this act. For this act. This act. This act. Educate Israel. Is to educate Israel. He didn't say is, but educate Israel. This act, educate Israel. Also. Also. To envy the Gentiles. To envy the Gentiles. Yes. And to make also and to make also a sacrifice. A sacrifice. Hold on, I'll let it play. Hold on, I'll back it up, and we're going to listen to it a couple times. So bear with me. Let's see. Here we go. This act educate Israel. Also, this act educate this act educate Israel. Educate also, to envy the Gentiles and to make also. Sacrifice. All right. We back it up. I want you to listen to the words. Here we here we go. No, back it up a little more. To envy the Gentiles. To envy the Gentiles. So this is this is your items. One item by making this uh, sacrifice, uh, the Jews will see it and be envious that the Gentiles are making this sacrifice. All right. Just, that's what it is. It's to make the Jews envious, all right? This is, wow. This is biblical according to them. They've twisted this, understand. So, this act will be, we will bless you for this act, all right? And we will be envious towards you for this act. And also, here we go. And to make also. And to make also. Sacrifice, the sacrifice on the Temple Mount unto Nagash. Here we go. Listen to the words carefully. Sacrifice temple on the Nagash. So also sacrifice temple on the Nagash. Also sacrifice temple on the Nagash. Also sacrifice temple on the Nagash. Also. Sacrifice All right. Also, a sacrifice on the Temple Mount unto Nagash. Brothers and sisters, Nagash. Can you see that? I hope so. There it is, right there. Nagash, Nagash, a serpent. Do you understand? Let no man deceive you, brothers and sisters. All right. Many will come saying that Jesus is the Christ. All right. Pointing to Jesus. All right. And saying that he's the Christ. That would be the Gentiles. All right. The Gentiles. And, and there, the other day I was watching a video. All right. That's enough there. So the other day I was watching a video with Brother, uh, Brother Stephen and his wife Jana, Jana. And um, they had a, a man on screen, they were showing a video that was saying that there are certain uh, religious uh, groups in Christianity, all right, that it's okay to worship Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus said, let no man deceive you, for many will come. This is in Matthew, Matthew 24. Many will come in his name, saying that he is the Christ, okay? And yet lead many astray. This goes across the gamut of all the religions. You've got Mormonism, you've got uh, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, all right? Which, by the way, Rabbi Weiss, the head of the Sanhedrin, the Sanhedrin, the Chabad 
Lubavitch organization owned stock in the in the uh, I believe maybe even the Mormons, but in Jehovah Witness in the Watchtower for for a season. The whole thing is the, these different religious groups calling themselves or following Christ, but not believing. First of all, the Jehovah Witness does not believe that Jesus is the actual Son of God and that He is God. All right, that's important. So many will come in Christ's name, pointing to Christ and saying. Uh, you know, lead many astray, all right, saying that they are Christian and yet lead many astray. What happened on the on the Mount of Olives with this uh, sacrifice that the uh, the Sanhedrin, the head of the Sanhedrin, Rabbi Weiss, was saying that we will thank, we will bless you for this because this is a this is something to make the Jewish people jealous or envious of you of the Gentiles that they could do a sacrifice, all right, of a lamb, all right? Many will come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and lead many astray. This follows suit with the representation of Noahide laws. Those that would come under these Noahide laws, not to say that the laws themselves are, are evil because it's, it's all good on the surface. All right? But it's the way they're going to use these laws to twist the, the times that, that are coming to put these laws over all of humanity. Because that's what they're saying. And this is a covenant with humanity. All right? So them, the Sanhedrin being the 71 or the 70, whatever uh, 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 Jewish uh, rabbis, that will be the moral authority in these last days, which is an antichrist organization because it is does not believe in Christ Jesus. So, the bottom line is what they're preparing to do is to make by this sacrifice make the Jews envious and want and so that they'll want to go to the Temple Mount and make a sacrifice unto Nakash, all right, which is the serpent, and see. The more you find out about what the the Sanhedrin and the members are ultra orthodox, and their rabbinic is the basic line of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Now, not all of these people are evil, just like Stephen Bendenun had said. You know, Nicodemus was one of the Pharisees. Paul was one of the Pharisees. All right, he was killing Christians himself until he became one himself. All right, so. We all know what days we're living in, brothers and sisters, and um, that's that's pretty solid evidence. I, I implore you, go and watch this video. I'll post uh, this video underneath and see what else you can find. But what I saw and what I heard right there, that, that in essence is the truth. All right, Rabbi Weiss tells, is telling you the truth, that they are going to prepare to go to the Temple Mount and perhaps on Rosh Hashanah or sometime during the fall feasts. All right, This is what they're saying. They know that they need to do a sacrifice. They know that they want to do a sacrifice. They have their high priest and everything is all set up for the time. And we, the Gentile sacrifice was just made, which will make them jealous in order to do their sacrifice, which has to be on the Temple Mount. So the time is near, brothers and sisters. The days are short. God bless you all. I'll give you the blast on the show far. On the small one. How about the small one today? Take your earbuds out. One on the blast on the on the on the, the large so far.
you, brothers and sisters. You know, I still haven't got uh, any emails. I'm waiting for some emails to come in uh, for the call-in show today. So I don't know if I'm going to get any emails or not so we can have a call-in show. But let this video suffice if there's no call-in show. Otherwise, God bless you. I love you. Brother John Watchman for that great day. See you real soon in the clouds, brothers and sisters. We're close. It's a process. Keep watching.